An order for 90 more F-35 Lightning combat jets is to be cancelled in favour of the Tempest fighter, built in Lancashire, while 24 older Typhoon fighters will be retired early. Whole fleets of aircraft will be taken out of service as drones become ever more common. The Ministry of Defence Permanent Secretary Sir Stephen Lovegrove said, things change in the course of these very long-term programmes. Different capabilities come along that render things that you have yet to buy possibly obsolete or perhaps you need fewer of them or the threats change. Team Tempest is a United Kingdom technology and defense partnership formed by Bay Systems, Leonardo, MBDA, Rolls-Royce and the Royal Air Force, and involving hundreds of high-tech companies, SMEs and academia across the United Kingdom. Tempest is one of the United Kingdom most ambitious technological endeavors and designed to deliver a highly advanced, adaptable combat air system. This next-generation combat aircraft, which forms part of a wider combat air system, will exploit new technologies as they evolve to respond to the changing nature of the battle space, addressing increasingly high-tech and complex threats and conflict. Experts from the team Tempest Electronics lead, Leonardo United Kingdom, are developing new radar technology capable of providing over 10,000 times more data than existing systems. The new sensor, called the Multifunction Radio Frequency System, will collect and process unprecedented amounts of data on the battle space equivalent to the internet traffic of a large city such as Edinburgh, every second. This huge volume of information, processed on board, will give Tempest a battle-winning edge in combat situations, with the ability to locate and target enemies well before they are targeted themselves. The brand new sensor will provide a wide range of abilities beyond traditional radar, with all digital technology providing the operator with an exceptionally clear view of the battle space and of potential targets. Leonardo has already built complete subsystems using the new technology and successfully tested him at the company's site in Edinburgh with a path to airborne demonstrations in the coming years. Separately, engineers at Bay Systems have begun flight testing cutting-edge concepts for Tempest's wearable cockpit technologies, designed to provide pilots in the cockpit or operators on the ground with split-second advantage. The concept sees the physical controls seen in current aircraft cockpits replaced with augmented and virtual reality displays projected directly inside the visor of a helmet, which can be instantly configured to suit any mission. Concepts including human autonomy teaming are also being developed, where a virtual co-pilot could take on some of the pilot's responsibilities. The virtual co-pilot concept is still being developed, but could for example, take the form of an avatar built into the cockpit to interact with the pilot. Bay Systems has also been trialing psychophysiological technologies, including eye tracking, to study the operator's physical and cognitive processes to better understand increasing exertion, stress, workload and fatigue. Bay Systems test pilots are now trialing these psychophysiological technologies in controlled test flight conditions in a Typhoon aircraft. The results of the trials will inform further development to better understand a pilot's cognitive behavior and processes relating to brain activity, psychological rhythms and eye movement to inform further development. MBDA UK has also embedded one of its human factors engineers within this wearable cockpit team, ensuring early introduction of weapons concepts that exploit these future technologies. This close partnership approach between MBDA UK and Bay Systems will allow the companies to help to collaborate at an early stage of the program, shaping how weapons systems information and operation is optimized for the pilot. At the same time, Rolls-Royce engineers have been developing advanced combustion system technology as part of the company's power and propulsion work. The combustion system is where fuel is introduced and burned to release energy into the gas stream. A next-generation system will need to be hotter than any previous platform, increasing the efficiency of the engine and meaning it can go further, faster, or produce less carbon dioxide. Rolls-Royce has been exploring advanced composite materials and additive manufacturing as part of this work, producing lightweight, more power-dense components capable of operating at these higher temperatures.